Hi, today is August 15th. Uh, my name is Sheena Joy. I want to share uh, two cards that I made. And one is for my mom, Marilyn Catherine Nicholas. And uh, today is one month since my mom passed away. And so it's a very emotional day for me and for my family. Um, this is my mom's picture right here. That's her. She's so beautiful and just a vibrant, beautiful, strong-willed woman, so kind and considerate. And so I made this in memory of her. She always inspired me to make cards, and she still inspires me, so I'll continue to make them when I feel like I want to make her one. So I'm going to go through her card and the techniques I used and the materials that I used. Okay. So I'm going to get a little closer here. You can see that I see that I did heat embossing. Uh, I miss you, mom, and that's uh, with white embossing powder. I think I've shown you this before. In fact, I know I have. It's uh, Recollections uh, Detail Embossing Powder, and the color is Snow. And in order to have that on the paper. Use Versamark watermark stamp pad. I'd highly recommend that to anyone that wants to heat emboss. The stamp sets that I use for I Miss You, Mom. Um, there's this package right here. I'm kind of floppy, but um, so these are just individual letters that I put together to say Mom. I didn't actually have a stamp that said Mom all together. Um, and I don't have the original package, but I believe it's. Inka Dinka Do is the company that puts it out. And for I Miss You, I got it from the Hero Arts um, clear stand set. And you can see right here it says I Miss You. And so I put those together. And I think they look really well together. And the embossing turned out really nice. I took my time <laughs> and um, think about mom at every step of the way when I was making it. You can also see on the card, I have a brad right here, and if I can get close enough, you can see that it says, love you. And these are really cute brads. Um, I've used almost the whole package. They're from Studio G, and this is the package they came in right here. And when I first started making cards, I had no idea what brads meant. Uh, brads are metal embellishments, and you stick a hole in the card, and then you put the metal prongs through, and you fold them back. And I'll show you the inside of Mom's card just to show you. You see how the metal prongs come through, and then you fold them down just to keep it in place. I'll put her card back up here. Um, another thing that I did with Mom's card is I used this beautiful pattern paper and I cut it at a diagonal. Um, that's really trendy right now in the card making world to do diagonal cuts and um, just have diagonal el uh, elements on your card. So I like how it turned out and I love those colors. They're so fresh and springy and um, and mom was a really trendy stylish woman. She was and she always made everything look good. Um, okay, getting back to the card. You can see this really pretty fuchsia ribbon I used. Um, it's right here. It's from Offre. And there's the ribbon right there. Beautiful. I think Offre uh, makes really nice ribbons and I find I go to that brand a lot. Uh, another thing about the card is I use this fuchsia button and I have gotten a package of buttons from a scrapbooking store over in Presque Isle, Maine and I'll just show you I don't have the original package either but there they are in this green uh, ceramic bowl and there's oranges and pinks and lilacs and yellows and oranges so really pretty selection of colors. So that's 
is the front of mom's card and on the inside I have stickers and they say love my mother and you can see right here at the bottom of mother I put a strip of paper that I had punched out with a scallop punch I have so I'll show you that This is an EK Success um, paper punch. It's an edge puncher and it's really easy to use and it's just really pretty and very feminine. Just going to go back to my mom's picture. My mom, that card's for you. And my father told me after my mother died that, um, and it really brought me to tears actually was that my mother was really proud of me and card making and starting a small business and I remember the first show I went to where I displayed my cards and she was having a hard time walking that day because of her hip and she still came and she supported me and <laughs> she just being who she is and she's a wonderful mom and I love her so much um, the next card that I made is in the same manner, the same design. And this is a card I made for a family friend. Um, I've known him for a long time. And actually, he's a hairstylist. And I'll just bring the camera in a bit closer to show you. And like I said, it's the same style as my mom's card. Um, so I, for this one, of course, I used a masculine print and also with the diagonal, I just followed it up with uh, a straight line using a gel pen. Instead of a ribbon, I used a baker's twine and I'll show you the package of baker's twine right here. Tim Holtz Ideology Baker's Twine. It comes in a whole array of colors here to choose from and I choose the black and white. Um, I also heat embossed on this card as well. You can see the thank you sentiment. And this is from the same uh, stamp set as well. Hero Arts. And you can see the thank you right there. With this one I use buttons. Uh, Buttons are really trendy as well. <laughs> I say trendy a lot, but I mean, use whatever you like to use and whatever your style is. I mean, don't let anybody define your style. I like to keep up with trends, and but if I don't like them, I don't use them. But I really like the look of buttons, and these ones are natural tones, and I think they look really pretty, and they're fitting with the craft cardstock. Right here you see, right by uh, thank you, I put a metal embellishment of Brad. So I'll show you the package of Brad. This package is from American Designs, I believe it's called. And you can see the one in the corner is missing and that's the one that I used. So again, that has a masculine tone to it as well. Inside of his card, I just put a little uh, corner of the pattern paper as well with that diagonal slant, so I like it. And up here you can see the back of the brad that I used on the front and the back of the baker's twine. For Fidel's card, I also made an envelope. I'm giving it to him tomorrow. I'm going to his shop to get a pedicure. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I have a little treat in mind, and I'm looking forward to it. So this is his uh, envelope. Handmade this one. Um, I used the same uh, package of paper as I used for the card, and this had a different print on it. It came with this lettering. Um, it's kind of a mustard greenish color and it looks well with these colors. Also, I don't know if you can really tell, but here, let me put the envelope down and I'll kind of point it out. What I did is I punched out these little circles of stripe paper 
and I put them on foam dimensionals to kind of have them pop out and I really like how it looks because it matches the paper that it's on. I'll show you the scallop punch right here. It's a Martha Stewart scallop punch and just slide your paper in there and punch and it works really, really well perfectly every time. Martha Stork makes wonderful paper crafting products. So I'm going to put this back here. Alright, so just some technical notes about the um, two cards. Is I'll show you the package of paper I used for my mom's card. This is by Momenta and this is the package it's this is what it looks like. So you have a really large variety really of different patterns and all of them are really feminine so really fitting for my mom. This is a sheet of letters that I choose uh, well it came with the package of paper so I thought it was appropriate to use it uh, to write down Fidel's name. This package of paper for Fidel's card is by Autumn Leaves, and the name of the paper package is Boys to Men Variety Pack. So a lot of masculine prints in that one. Um, again, for stamping. Um, the sentiments. I use my Martha Stewart acrylic block with a grid pattern on it. For adhering the buttons on both cards, I use glue dots. For adhering the tape, uh, the paper to the cardstock, to the craft cardstock, I should say, I use this AdTech Crafters tape. It's permanent. And also, um, I really recommend this to anyone who's starting out with uh, either scrapbooking or card making is to have a paper trimmer. This one is Siskars. I really like it, but whatever brand that you like, you know, you can buy. And I like to fold my cards using the Martha Stewart mini scoreboard. And this is it here. Turn it around, and this is what I use to make my envelopes. Just use the lines and score where it shows you to score them. So these are the cards that I made and really happy to share them with me, uh, with you rather, and as for me, um, just trying to celebrate life like my mother would have wanted me to and um, enjoy day to day. And mom, I miss you so much. You're the best. Okay, everyone take care. Love to all. Bye.